show you how to change the oil on a 05 GMC Sierra. This is where the oil goes in, 530. bolt for the oil pan is that one right there it is a size 15 to take it off you turn left lefty loosey righty tighty so once you loosen it you can take it off have your pan close by what you want to do is when you have your pan up close Keep turning it. Make sure the common sense will make sure your engine is cool. Your oil's not hot. Let it sit for a while or it's been sitting overnight. So what I do is I loosen it all the way till I know, like at that point, you see it coming out. Then obviously with your free hand, you bring up the pan real close to create minimum uh, mess possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once oil has drained, tighten the bolt back, but not too tight. So if you continue to do your oil changes on your own, it will not be too hard for you to take off. So just nice, firm, snug, Tightness is fine, and then all your filters right here. This one, normally you should be able to do it with your hand. Turn it to the left, and have your oil, uh, your oil tray underneath, because the oil will begin to to seep. What I normally do is I'll have it under. I'll let all the oil seep. Once it kind of stops, then I'm able to remove it completely and hold it upright, and then kind of tilt it and drain the oil out of the filter. And then I'll let it drain for a couple minutes. And then with the new filter, put clean oil around the, the gasket and you can tighten it back on onto place, uh, turning it to the right. So fairly easy, easy. So when you put the filter back on, you just turn it to the right and just uh, a nice firm tightness is good as well. You do not want to over uh, tighten it because you will mess up the gasket on the filter. So go ahead and do that. So that's what I do is start seeping out into the pan. Once it's drained, that's where you just turn it. with your new filter you get a little bit of oil Just around the rim you will get oil on your hands so if you don't like to have your hands dirty you like to have your hands nice and clean and soft then you could take it to Walmart they'll do it for you for $25-30 dollars if you don't mind a little bit of oil Put some on there, you can do it yourself. Fairly simple. Now we're gonna go back under the truck and put the filter back onto place. Not over tightening it, just firm. And we'll go to the next step. So you put it on here, just put it on there. Just a little snug. Because when you come and do it again, you will not have a problem taking it off because you didn't over tighten it. You, you will not need the oil filter tool 
as you do it nice and firm i've never had an issue doing it by hand so you'll be fine also if you're real big on your driveway being clean i do not recommend you changing the oil in your driveway because you will spill some oil so you could either put a large piece of cardboard under the truck where you're working at or you could do it somewhere else other than your driveway if this is your first time doing it then you will have an accident it's gonna happen so either do another place or lay a big cardboard under your vehicle where you're working at and you'll be fine so now we're gonna pour the oil back into the truck what i like to do is put a rag around it in case you have some spillage it'll fall on the towel and uh if you like you can get the funnel they sell funnels are about two dollars it'll help you me i'm just gonna pour it straight into there usually, usually fine so go ahead and pour the oil back into there my truck takes six quarts just double check on your vehicle find the oil capacity and then uh, you should be fine and after i finish pouring the oil we're gonna go ahead and check the the dipstick make sure it's at the correct level make sure your truck is on level ground if it's not on level ground you're gonna get an incorrect reading on the oil level so make sure it's flat after you pour it let it sit for a little bit that way it could settle the oil that you're pouring in there and we'll go from to there. check the oil level the yellow one is your oil dipstick pull it out you can see where it's marking right before the one my truck's out of slant so i know it's right where it needs to be if you want it to be right here it's right there so it's good to go what i do with the used oil is after i finished pouring in all the clean oil I get the old oil and I pour it back into the oil container and then you dispose of it properly but simple as that easy way to change your oil if you have any uh, tips or any questions uh, let me know this is for the beginner trying to change their own oil, not for the uh, professional. But you want to get it done yourself. Uh, easy way to do it. Easy way to learn how to maintenance your vehicle.